Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 1.39 from Mechanical Vibration by SS Rao 6 edition. So the problem 1.39 is same in Mechanical Vibration 5th edition. So that's problem 1.39. Find spring constant of bimetallic bar shown in figure 1.89 in axial motion. So equivalent spring stiffness of this composite bar of aluminium and steel that is required here. So equivalent spring stiffness of each bar can be calculated using stress strain relationship and then Hooke's law. So using stress strain relationship it is Young's modulus is stress over strain and in this case stress then will become equal to strain into E. Stress is force per cross-sectional area and delta is deflection over length into E and then Hooke's law is F is equal to K into deflection so K will be F over deflection. So then by rearranging stress strain relationship for F over delta and then that F over delta can be substituted into Hooke's law. So then K is equal to A E over L. So that will be spring stiffness or equivalent spring stiffness for the bar. To find spring stiffness or equivalent spring stiffness area is required. So area of both strips is same because depth of each strip is 0.5 centimeter and width of each strip is 2 centimeter. So area of steel strip and area of aluminium strip is B times D. So B is 2 centimeter into 0.5 centimeter converting them into meters. So it will become 1, point 1 into 10 to raise power minus 4 meter square. Now uh, modulus of elasticity for steel is given as 207 into 10 to raise power 9 pascal and modulus of elasticity for aluminium is 83 into 10 to raise power 9 and length of both strip is same so then equivalent spring stiffness for both of strips can be calculated as for steel strip after substituting values it is 41.4 into 10 to raise power 6 and for aluminium strip, after substituting the values of E and L, so it is 16.6 .6 into 10 to raise power 6 Newton per meter. Now to find equivalent spring stiffness, so it is now important to check that if they are connected in series or if they are connected in parallel. So assuming that both strips in a bimetallic bar, they are bonded together. So if any force F is being applied in the axial direction, so then they'll have same deformation. So they have same axial displacement and the total load is shared by both of strips if that is being applied perpendicular to the cross-sectional area. So that is a fact the strips are bonded together and experience the same axial displacement under an applied force F. The applied force is shared by both strips. So therefore strips cross bond to a parallel combination of spring. There is a further justification if total force F is being applied so shared by the steel spring uh, strip and then axial strip that is the same. So then these forces can be written in terms of stress. Stress is force over area. So then force shared by steel strip is stress shared by steel strip into area of steel strip plus the same stress shared by aluminium into area and then stress can be written using the relationship stress is strain into modulus of elasticity and then that is uh, delta over l into e so then after simplifying and taking delta as common so it will become e s a s over l E A A over L and that is the same expression we have used to find K S and K A. So then F is equal to K equivalent into delta the total force. So then delta is going to cancel with delta. So then we will have 
expression for k equivalent as that is k equivalent is equal to k s plus k a now we can substitute the values of k s and k a in the expression so k equivalent that is 41.4 plus 16.6 and then it's going to 58 into 10 to raise per 6 newton per meter so i hope you find this explanation helpful thank you very much for watching